What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some of my favorite and least favorite things about the Cricut Innovate E5G to help you decide whether or not it's the right phone for you. Now as always, before we go any further, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So my first pro for the Cricut Innovate E5G is that it has NFC. Now in case you don't know what it is, NFC is basically the main technology behind contactless mobile payment services, so if you like to use tap and pay to use that feature, you will need a phone with NFC. Now this is a really entry level phone, and in this day and age, although we are starting to see more and more phones that have this feature, as of right now, when it comes to these really entry level phones, we're still at the point where only a handful of them are going to have NFC. So in general, if you are looking for a more affordable phone, and you do want the option to use tap and pay, then the Cricut Innovate E5G will be a great choice. My second second pro for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the software. Now as you can see here, we are getting Android 12 with this phone, and granted it's not Android 13, and seeing as this is a Cricut branded phone, I'm not expecting to get any major updates either. But that being said, when it comes to these more affordable entry level phones, a lot of phones in this price range only have Android 11, and in fact even more mid range phones like the Blue Bold N2 for example, still only have Android 11. So in general, when it comes to these entry level phones that aren't a Samsung or a Motorola or something like that, the software you're getting is not always going to be the best or the newest. But with the Cricut Innovate E5G, seeing as we do get Android 12 with this phone. Again, it's definitely a nice step up from Android 11. So if maybe you're not too concerned about having the latest version of Android, but you want something at least decently newer, then the Cricut Innovate E5G is most likely going to be perfectly fine for you. My third pro for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the display size. Now with this phone, we're getting a 6.6 inch LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 269, and an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. So in general, despite only having a 720p resolution and not really having the best image quality, especially compared to something like a Samsung for example, the Cricut Innovate E5G does still have a decently large display, which tends to be a good thing when you're consuming a lot of content. At 6.6 .6 inches, while it's not quite as big as something like a Motorola Moto G Stylus for example, it definitely is on the larger side, so again, if you are consuming a lot of content like watching videos or even just reading, I do think you will get a good experience here. In addition to this, with an aspect ratio of 20 by 9, we are getting a taller and more narrow form factor, so if you're doing something like watching a video in landscape mode for example, you're going to get a more immersive cinematic experience, and if you're doing something vertical like reading, browsing the web or scrolling through social media, you can fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. So in general, again, with this display, while you can do better when it comes to the actual image quality, the size and dimensions definitely do make up for this. My fourth pro for the Cricut Innovate E5G is that it has both a fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So with this phone, the fingerprint scanner is right back here in more of a classic spot. So while it may not look fancy and premium like an in-display fingerprint scanner, it definitely is really practical. And again, we do have face unlock here, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. For this price range, it's really nice to have both options because seeing that this is a phone under $200, a lot of phones like this only have one or the other, and for that matter, even with flagship phones. The iPhone 14, for example, only has face unlock, and you only get a fingerprint scanner with something like the Google Pixel 6a. So in general, even when you're going to the more expensive phones, there's still no guarantee you're going to get both a fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So if having different options to unlock your phone besides a pin is important to you, then the Cricut Innovate E5G is definitely going to be a good choice. But that being said, let's go ahead and give the fingerprint scanner a try and see how well it works. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, it was real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And finally, my fifth pro for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the processor. I had to save the best for last here because honestly, when it comes to the processor, that's probably the biggest strength of this phone. Not only are we getting 5G connectivity here, but with 4GB of RAM in the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor, for being a phone under $200, this is probably one of the fastest phones in this price range. Sure, on one hand, it's not going to be nearly as fast as something like a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, for example, but for more basic daily activities like web browsing, social media, streaming content like videos and music and stuff like that, this phone is definitely really fast for what it is, and for that kind of activity, you will get a really good experience. Now I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone, and here are the scores right here. What I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone, and then comparing your results to these to give you a better idea of whether or not this phone will be an upgrade for you. Because depending on what you're coming from, it may or may not be. If you're coming from another entry level phone like this, or even more of a mid-range phone, then there is a good chance the Cricut Innovate E5G will be a significant upgrade, but if you're coming from maybe an older flagship phone for example, like a Samsung Galaxy S10, then that will be a different story, because again, while this phone 
phone is really fast for an entry-level phone. It's definitely still not nearly fast enough to compete with a higher-end device. But in general, again, for what it is, if you're looking for a really affordable phone, but you also want 5G connectivity and a fast processor, then this phone will be a great choice. But now that we've gone over some of the good things about this phone, let's talk about some potential drawbacks. So my first con for the Cricut Innovate E5 5G is that it doesn't have wireless charging. Now keep in mind there is a real specific reason I bring this up and it's not because I typically expect it in lower end phones like this. But the reason it's definitely a con for this phone is that another slightly older phone that's really similar to this, the Cricut Dream 5G, does actually have wireless charging and for whatever reason this phone that I feel like is technically supposed to be the newer version for whatever reason doesn't have wireless charging. Now I could be wrong about that because this phone while resembling the Cricut Dream 5G in some ways, namely having the same processor, is still obviously a completely different phone and it does have a lot of differences. If you want to learn more about that, definitely check out my full comparison between this phone and the Cricut Dream 5G. But essentially, if you are looking for wireless charging, definitely don't get the two confused because this phone, the Cricut Innovate E5G, does not have wireless charging, whereas again, the Cricut Dream 5G does. My second con for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the camera. Now on one hand, as you can see in my full camera review of this phone, I did actually underestimate the camera quite a bit because the regular photos it takes are definitely good for a lower end device. But that being said, this phone really doesn't have a ton of features. Up front here we got a classic water drop notch for the front facing camera. This camera is 5 megapixels. Then on the back we got a simple dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. So in general if you're looking for a phone with a lot of camera features then you clearly can do better because this phone doesn't have a macro camera or an ultra wide camera both of which are really useful if you're taking a lot of photos. But that being said again to be fair the photos it actually does take are surprisingly good. So if you're just taking a few normal photos here and there maybe to send to friends and family or even for social media as long as you're not expecting a ton of features, the camera setup on this phone will at least be acceptable. My third con for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the battery size. So with this phone, we're getting a 4000 mAh battery that supports 10 watt fast charging. Now like a lot of things with this phone, this actually could be good or bad depending on your expectations. But if you are looking for a phone with a lot of battery life and the best longevity, then honestly this is probably not going to be the best choice for you. Because although a 4000 mAh battery is at least decent, there are plenty of phones in this price range that have 5000 mAh batteries. And a battery like that is going to give you so much better battery life. So if the battery is really a top priority for you, then again, this phone is probably not the best choice. But that being said, if you're someone who wants a decent battery, but maybe battery life isn't really that important, maybe you're going to be around a charger most of the time anyway. In that kind of situation, again, while the Cricut Innovate E5G doesn't have the largest battery, it'll definitely at least be okay. Now my fourth con for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the materials. With this phone, while the build quality itself does feel at least decent, the buttons for example feel pretty sturdy, and the phone doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart, keep in mind, this device is pretty much made entirely of a cheap plastic. And while of course a lot of people looking for a phone in this price range aren't really expecting anything premium, there are plenty of phones like this that have better materials in my opinion. In addition to this, the phone doesn't really have a whole lot of weight to it, which definitely adds to this kind of cheap effect. So again, in general, while I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be too concerned about this, if you are expecting something a little bit more premium, then this might not be the best phone for you. And finally, my fifth con for the Cricut Innovate E5G is the mediocre storage. Now honestly, I was kind of debating whether or not I should even mention this, because in reality, in this price range, you're probably not going to find another phone with more storage. But keep in mind, this phone does have 64 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. And while this was a lot of storage at one point in time, in 2022, 64 gigabytes is definitely not really that much. And honestly, nowadays, it's really more or less a bare minimum. On one hand, can you get by with this much storage? For the average user, I do think you can, especially if you're utilizing the micro SD card expansion and you're just mindful of what you're putting on your phone. But on the other hand, if you're more of a power user, if you have a lot of apps and stuff like that, then you're probably going to want to go for a slightly higher end device that has more storage. But again, in general, I don't really know if I can actually consider this a serious con because while of course it would be nice that this phone had more storage in this price range I don't think any phone really does so it's just really something to be aware of if you are more of a power user 64 gigabytes is probably going to fill up pretty quickly and you're probably going to want to spend a little bit more on a phone that has more storage but again for the average user if you're more mindful of your storage and you're careful about what you're putting on your phone then it's probably going to be perfectly fine but those were my pros and cons for the Cricut Innovate E5G in general despite the drawbacks which honestly for this price range they're pretty much just things every phone like this has. I do think the Cricut Innovate E5G is definitely a great choice if you're looking for a more affordable 5G phone that has great performance, a decent display, and plenty of features like NFC for example that are great for basic daily use. Now once again if you want to learn more about this phone I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.